What's up with y'all, it's Cam, y'all already know who it is. So today I'm finna be telling y'all 10 things I wish I knew before I started my locks on my lock journey. I'm finna get right into it, I do not like wasting time in these intros, so we finna get right into number one. Make sure that you actually using good products that is good for your hair and that will make your hair thrive, you know what I'm saying? Use natural products, do not be using no bullshit on your hair. Your hair is connected to your nervous system, all right? I mean, what's under your scalp, my nigga? It's your fucking brain, you know what I'm saying? So everything that you put on your scalp and your skin absorbs inside your scalp in your skin so don't put nothing with no alcohol bro look at the back and start reading bro yes read my nigga i know it sounds crazy oh my god turn it around and read the back if you get some some rosemary oil it shouldn't be uh 15 ingredients on there only one thing that say rosemary you know what i'm saying so just make sure that you're using organic shit and natural shit this is, this is from any stage of your journey you know what i'm saying so just make sure that you actually know what you're doing and make sure that you're using real good product from the shampoo and conditioner you want to make sure that all of that is good and you want to make sure that None of it contains a bunch of chemicals and a bunch of bullshit that's gonna dry your hair out and make you keep buying it over and over and over again. Cause that's what a lot of people are using. They wonder why their locks look the way they look and feel so brittle. It's cause you're using terrible products and they're finessing you out of your money cause you keep buying them over and over and over again cause they don't fucking work. Just make sure that you don't get finessed and just look at the back of everything. Next man, you do not need to over oil your scalp or moisturize your hair every single day. Now you can spray water on your hair every day, but do not be putting oil on your scalp and your strands every single day bro. I cannot stress this enough. It's gonna cause so much buildup and it's gonna affect the way that your hair grows. Bro, you think you're making your hair grow longer by putting oil on it every day, but no, you're not. You're actually stopping it. You know what I'm saying? So put it on there twice a week or something like that. And then just let your hair breathe. Your hair needs to breathe sometimes. Sometimes don't put nothing in it. Just go out in the sun and let your hair breathe. See, a lot of people, they don't be letting their hair breathe. The hair be suffering because of that, because if your scalp truly wants fresh air. You know what I'm saying? It wants to breathe, my nigga. Let your hair breathe. You know what I'm saying? Don't put something over your head all the time in the starter lock stage. Sometimes you got to let that shit out. Just let it breathe. Next man bro record your journey bro from the beginning to the end if you haven't started yet start right now you're gonna want to look back and be like damn bro my shit used to really be that short damn bro i made it a long way you know what i'm saying you're gonna appreciate those little videos that you can share with other people and then people gonna be like damn your hair was short damn your hair used to look like that you're gonna see how different you look and how overall you just changed overall because your hair grows with you so you're gonna you're gonna also look at how your body changes how you change how your mindset changes this is why the lock journey is so beautiful because it grows with you as a person so record your journey bro just appreciate everything that you go through with your locks even all the pain you're gonna be like man i used to damn man this is a whole different era of me i went through a lot of shit with my hair you're gonna appreciate those little videos so make sure that you record all your stages of your journey or just start right now if you have it one thing i wish i knew is bro wash your starter locks, bro. If I was to restart, my nigga, I would tell my younger self, bro, nigga, wash your starter locks. People be like, do not wash your starter locks. They gonna mess them up. No, bro, you just gotta wash them correctly, all right? Just get a do-rag, man. Put a do-rag on, put something to cover your hair, and then, bro, just put the shampoo on it. You know what I'm saying? It's really not that difficult. You know what I mean? People that say don't wash your starter locks do not know nothing about locks. I'm gonna be real. You need to be having your hair clean because if you don't clean your hair, that is gonna stop the growth of your locks. It's not gonna completely stop the growth but it's your hair is not gonna grow as fast as it could be growing make sure that you wash your locks man anybody to say don't do that a dirty ass nigga okay so make sure that you washing your locks and that you just taking care of your shit overall you want your hair to grow as fast as possible right make sure that you overall just taking care of your hair and covering it overnight you know what i'm saying all right number two man one thing I wish I knew is appreciating the journey. Appreciate every stage of lock that you're in, all right? Because it was stages where I, I wasn't appreciating it, and I wish I was back in those stages sometimes. It's like, man, I can't wait till my locks get like right here. But bro, I miss them stages. Appreciate and enjoy the stage where you're at with your locks, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't like the starter phase, but bro, appreciate it, because that's gonna make the time go by faster. It's all about just appreciating every stage of your locks. This is what the lock journey is for, bro. It's a journey, you know what I'm saying? You gotta appreciate the bottom and the top top and the middle you know what i mean just like in a, any other journey in a journey of life you gotta appreciate the bottom man you gotta appreciate the bottom there's some things that the top can't teach you with that only the bottom can once you appreciate the journey bro you're not gonna feel like you're in an ugly stage you're just gonna be enjoying your locks and number three bro do not compare your locks to other people and don't start comparing your locks and like looking at other people and saying man i wish my lock was like this i wish my lock was like this bro you're doing that for no reason there's people that's looking at your locks and saying man i wish my locks was like 
like his, you know what I mean? But you sitting here worrying about, do my locks really look good? Do my locks, bro, do not compare yourself to other people. Definitely when you're first starting out, all right? Do not be comparing yourself because once your hair gets longer and lock up, it's gonna look different. This is with life in general, not even just locks, bro. Do not be comparing yourself to other people or comparing your journey to somebody else's journey, you know what I'm saying? Your hair is different. Nobody hair is exactly the same. So your locks is not gonna look like anybody else's. Your locks, man, you can get them to look similar, you know what I mean? But they can't look like exactly somebody else's locks. Appreciate what you have and stop comparing yourself, bro. Do not be comparing yourself. Comparing yourself is one of the worst things you can do when you have locks or just in general in life. All right, next, man, do research when you first get your locks, all right? So when you get your starter locks, bro, or before you get them, I mean, do research and see exactly how you want them. How, what parting style do you want? How many locks do you want to have in your head? How many this, how many that? Because a lot of people be starting their locks, then don't be liking like the way their locks turn out because they don't do proper research before even getting their locks, you know what I'm saying? If you want locks that's bigger, but you get small ass parts, but they're not gonna be big. There's a huge difference between imitation and inspiration, all right? You can be inspired from somebody else's locks and see what they did and start it like that, but don't try to copy their locks, you know what I mean? Don't try to copy their whole look because it's not gonna look the same. You're gonna be disappointed. Cause like I said, bro, nobody here is exactly the same. Sometimes I wish I started with free forms, you know what I'm saying? Cause free forms are just so different. Like your free form are only gonna look like your free forms, you know what I'm saying? But I like what I got now, you know what I'm saying? This shit hard, you know what I mean? This shit hard. But man, appreciate what you have, my nigga, and just do research, you know what I'm saying? If you want triangle parts, nigga, get triangle parts bro if you want a lot of locks in your head bro get super small parts and tell your loctician that all right build a relationship with your loctician you know what i'm saying tell her exactly how you want your locks to look and do research on your loctician too make sure that she actually nice at what she doing and sometimes you have to pay that extra for somebody that's really good at it but bro your foundation is very important your foundation go set up your whole journey so you want to make sure you have the best foundation as possible and what you want next man wait till your locks lock up and wait till your locks actually develop a little bit before you start bleaching, coloring, and all that other stuff. I say don't do your roots at all, but you know, it's always up to you. You know what I'm saying? I would never bleach my roots because, nigga, that's where my hair grow from. But just do what you want to do, but make sure that your hair is at least, like, to a certain point and locked up before you start going crazy. I ain't do that, but I know that somebody else needed that tip right there. Cause y'all was probably finna start dying. Y'all started locks and shit. I'll say, wait, it's always up to you though. But if your shit start falling out and start doing some crazy shit, nigga, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? I warned you. Next, man, put your hair in styles and this will make your hair grow long. I don't, I don't know how this shit work, my nigga, but bro, once I put my hair in barrel twists and I just left it in there, like two strand twists and I just oil my scalp every once in a while. Once I took them out, bro, my hair just grew longer every single time bro even if it wasn't for a long time so make sure that you just put your hair in styles because this stretches out your locks you know what i'm saying and so just doing this and just trying out different styles is just fun with your locks so make sure that you try out different styles and bro just have fun with the shit but hey this was just a quick little video i'm gonna start making more lock videos and just more videos just helping y'all out with any advice y'all got i appreciate y'all man it's cam hey dm me or just dm me if you just need any advice on anything at all man my Instagram will be in my description. So I appreciate y'all, man. It's Cam, and I'm out, bruh.